Although it doesn't appear so by looking at the task manager, it turns out that most Office 365 apps now run native ARM code on devices like Surface Pro X. That means that Microsoft have compiled the code so that it doesn't need to be emulated. Now for compatibility reasons, the Office apps appear in the task manager as 32-bit apps, but they are actually running native code. So that means that there's a lot less work for the processor, freeing up resources and making things run faster. And Office 365 apps on the Pro X do feel fast. Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote all work very well on the Pro X. The holdout though, until now, has been Teams. Up until October, we had to run the 32-bit x86 version of Teams on the Pro X. Teams performance can be compromised at times on many mobile devices. It's written on a multi-platform framework called Electron, and that makes it very easy for Microsoft to deliver a consistent look and feel experience across Windows, Mac OS, Linux, the web, and mobile. But it does add a fair bit of overhead in terms of processing and memory, which can be problematic on many computers. In my recent 10-month review of the Surface Pro X, I said that Teams runs fine on the Pro X, which it does, but the performance wasn't stellar. It was usable. For example, I did a lot of calls using Teams on the Pro X and they worked pretty well. I sent messages in channels and chats, no problem. The times when I did notice some slowness was when I tried to edit or open documents directly from Teams using the Office Online apps within the Teams window. It was annoyingly slow. But recently on Twitter, I saw a number of people talking about the new ARM version of Teams going live. So I decided to go and try and manually get it. If you have Teams on your Surface Pro X, it's probably now already running the native version. The update is automatic. To check if you've got the latest ARM version of Teams on your Surface Pro X, click on your profile icon, go to About, and click on Version. There's an obscure gray bar that appears at the top of the Teams window. If it says 32-bit in that version name, that means that you've got the old version that was written for x86 processors and not the latest native ARM version of Teams for the Surface Pro X. You can update it manually by uninstalling Teams and downloading Teams from the Teams website. We'll leave a link to the download page below. If it doesn't have 32-bit in the name, then you've got the latest ARM native version for your Pro X. Now that I have this natively compiled version of Teams, the first thing that I found is that the Teams window was much quicker to resize when I moved it between my monitors. It refreshed at at least double the speed of the emulated version. Loading a document from a channel was much faster than using the emulated version. The document was ready 50% faster. Under the emulated version, I would have to wait five to 10 seconds to load the toolbar after the document was downloaded. Now it takes two to three seconds. Over the last few weeks, I've done a lot of work in Teams on the Pro X. I haven't noticed any major differences, but the small things all add up. And one of the things that I'm really loving about the Pro X is that it handles video work very well. It's smooth, it runs cool, and it uses far less battery on video calls than the Pro 7 does. It's still not without its limitations, but it's a very impressive device. Now even more so with this native version of Teams on board. By the way, a great way to shape products like Teams and Office 365 is with your feedback. I'll leave a link to the Microsoft Teams user voice website below. User voice is a great place to influence the future of these apps. So make sure that you go there and vote for suggestions and maybe even add some of your own. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more tips on Surface. Faster than using the emulated version, yeah. Teams performance can be pump compromised. Oh man.